Time for another unboxing. This is going to be a good one. I, had, I don't know how much is in here. I can't remember if I bought any extras or anything like that. But it was... I want to say Kickstarter or Zoop again. One of those two. This one's from Winston Gambrel. Uh, we did some Winston Gambrel videos in the past. He also, we also did a creator episode with him on it for, uh, I believe it was for Haunted House of Love Story that time. Uh, wonderful. Six issue run, I believe, where each story was in the same haunted house, but it was a different family in the house each uh, each storyline and they all kind of linked together wonderfully and it was just a very unique unique display of that style storyline uh he's got such a wonderful view of different things uh the way he makes such a unique variety of books and stuff i love all all his work he introduced me to a little side story for Bioshock that he came up with that I was so happy to hear about. I didn't think anybody would, that we'd ever see anything more from Bioshock after the three games. I just assumed it was done and over. We weren't going to see nothing until there were remakes or something like that. They really don't have to do because those games hold up awesomely by their own. I've played them so many times, but yeah, he's... Between that, Overflow, The Blank, uh, just he's got tons of unique books that just jump all over the different. It was very exciting when I heard about this project. And make sure there's nothing else in there. Set that aside. But yeah, I was going with the alien perspective here. Yeah. Light in the sky. A nice little. Well, what do you believe? Ray Arthur is the host of Light in the Sky, a paranormal radio show. After years of dubious calls about UFOs, Bigfoot, and conspiracies, he's become a cynical skeptic to all things alien. Don Estrella is Ray's biggest fan, and she has an incredible claim. Her baby was taken by extraterrestrials. Needs Ray's help to get her back, no matter the cost. Yeah, I love how he makes it look like government paper, writings and stuff. More things falling out of here, make sure there's nothing else. So yeah, it's beautiful black and white artwork. This is going to be a one I'll probably read pretty quick here. And there's you get some of the little government blacked out documentation throughout the book. Lots of information about different cases, probably I'm guessing, and alien uh, UFO stories that they're following up on the government and a little just from the different things. Let's see where this goes with the kidnapping and or abduction or kidnapping, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, he drew a little self portrait in there. This is very exciting. I am look, really looking forward to checking that out. Here's his info. I'll also have it on the show notes. So you can check those out, and it also came with this little postcard style poster, lights in the sky, the old school aliens attacking the, with the radio tower in the back and stuff, kind of like a Ray Bradbury theater style feel to it, but yep, I am definitely looking forward to this. I know the truth, I listen to lights in the sky. So check that out. Check out his info in the show notes for contacting him. Get whatever you want. He, I suggest getting all his stuff. Get yourself a package deal. <laughs> whatever he has available. 
because it's just so many different style stories, but so unique in how one creator has so many wonderful perspectives and does an awesome job with all of it. So check that out and we'll get back with more unpackings sometime soon. So keep following under the cowl of MS. Rate, review, subscribe, tell a friend, give us likes. And check out Crimson Cold Comic Club and go back and check out the Winston Gambro interview that we did. A creator interview on there. That was a lot of fun that time when I found out I found out some wonderful things from him. That's how I ended up getting some extra little goodies. I would have never found if I did not meet Winston at that time. So check that interview out also and get on his site, order his stuff. You're, it's There's a little bit of everything for everyone in there. I mean, if you don't like all the storylines, just pick a couple that sound good to you and check them out and you'll be pleasantly surprised. All right, that's it. Talk to you again soon. Bye.